Okay, so we have one more example with the object's, object's trajectory defined by y equals 2x squared minus 1 when x equals t squared. So this is just an interesting uh, different way of saying, uh, setting up a parametric equation. So we see that y equals this term. So there's the y component of our parametric equation. And the x component, well, but the x component has a t, but the y doesn't. So we simply can substitute uh, the t, the x term, into the y term to get a t term. So t squared squared minus 1 equals 2t to the fourth minus 1. So now we have y equals 2t to the fourth minus 1 and x equals t squared, and thus giving us our parametric expression. So now it looks like the ones we've been dealing with. So now we can go ahead and find the speed at x equals 1, at t equals 1, pardon me, speed equals, well, the square root of dx dt, which is 2t squared, plus dy dt, which is 8t cubed squared. And at t equals 1, speed will equal the square root of 2 squared plus 8 squared, which equals the square root of 68. And the acceleration, of course, equals uh, the second derivative. So the second derivative here is 2, and the second derivative is 24t squared. And at t equals 1, acceleration equals 2, and 24 times 1, which is 24. So after defining our parametric equations, we now use them to find position, speed, and acceleration based on a position function that's parametrically uh, defined. So once again, recapping our lesson, we simply are taking uh, these terms individually, the x term and the y term, and applying them to our differentiation individually. So we're at no point are we combining this into one whole parametric equation. Just we are taking the separate components to keep it simple. So thanks for watching educator.com. We'll see you in the next lesson.